INL is an international facility dedicated to interdisciplinary research, deployment and articulation of nanotechnology and it is located right here in Braga. Being international has um, several meanings. One meaning is maybe that we have people from many different countries here. Another meaning is of course our kind of uh, governance model or kind of structure. So when it comes to research there are three international organizations, it's CERN, EMBL and INL. So we are one of the three. INL is really a true asset to Braga, the city of Braga, because we are bringing the international dimension to the city and we also really work with a lot of people all over the world. Nanotechnology is the study and application of science, technology and engineering at the nanoscale. But how small is the nanoscale? Well, assume you have uh a book of an encyclopedia, so it's about this thick. And so imagine now you have 30 volumes of the encyclopedia. Uh, and now you can ask the question, can I write everything that is in, that, in these 30 books on the head of the pin? The answer is actually yes, you can. Everything you see around is built by these very small, these, these very tiny things, which we call atoms. Even though it cannot be seen with the naked eye, nanotechnology is present throughout our daily lives in the form of sensors or nanosensors. Sensors are already a reality. What we do here at INL is uh, to explore nanosensors, and we do that for two reasons. We make sensors that explore phenomena that happen only at a very small scale. So if you make them larger, they simply don't work. The second thing is that we work at the nanoscale. We can see atoms here at INL. If you have very small sensors that are very sensitive to what happens at a very small scale, and you can bring that response to your world, then you can start playing, interacting with things that happen at a really small scale. And how exactly can scientists see at such a small atomic scale? You cannot use your eyes, you cannot use optical microscopes, you can actually need to use electron microscopes. These electron microscopes to look at these scales are actually very, very sensitive. So this instrument is actually sitting on what is called a floating floor, which is separated from the rest of the building so that those frequencies or those vibrations from tracks and other things do not reach the machine. Electron microscopes are not the only instruments requiring tight controls on environmental effects. INL's clean room facility, as well as chemical and biological laboratories, are also home to sensitive equipment that requires stable environmental parameters. All these requirements were thought through while designing our INL building. The size of the space where now sits INL consider many characteristics of its location. These were dimensions, space to grow, proximity of the city centre. Its concept is based on the idea that the scientific community will have an internal space where they can have crossing ideas and activities. Because even the slightest environmental variations can disrupt nanostructures, INL has a team dedicated to its infrastructure monitoring, control, maintenance and improvement. In fact, this is a complex building with a great specificity, given it is operational context. In this building, we control a lot of equipment uh, and part of this equipment are transverse to the whole building. We have a software which is an intelligent system that communicates in real time. This system maintains the temperature of all building with a specific range and also allows the collection of data. We create software applications used in the management of the laboratory. Most of them are web applications. We make use of the, the latest low-code platforms and we use agile methodologies to implement them. Some are simple applications where the INLers, for, for example, manage their holidays or where the cost center owners can manage their budgets. One example are the interfaces that are used to analyze the large amount of data that is generated by the thousands of sensors that are spread to the smart building. There are software engines that acquire and store this data and in these interfaces we can perform analytics over this information. In fact, everything around us, including ourselves, can have embedded sensors used to collect data, to measure traffic or air pollution or even brain activity. All these data can be shared and analyzed in a common platform called the Internet of Things or IoT. 
Yeah, the Internet of Things is a, a global infrastructure for the, the information society, enabling advanced services by interconnecting things based on communication uh, technologies. And the things in the Internet of Things refer to a wide variety of devices such as art monitoring implants, built-in biometrical sensors, fitness bracelets, fire alarms, light bulbs, gas sensors. So these devices uh, send small packages of data and although they are small, they are in a large number, so the, the volume of data generated is usually the order of terabytes per day. The data can be stored in big data repositories, both on cloud or on-premises. This data can then be processed to generate the desired output. And the handling of this data and this processing is what makes these devices smart. In the IoT, things can sense and communicate providing data that can help us understand a situation and make better decisions, from managing grape harvests over vast fields to reminding us that we are out of bread. Well, nanotechnology can provide us with new sensing methods, authentic multifunctional laboratories on a single chip. It can create increasingly smaller and more sensitive sensors, but there are also other fields of application of nanotechnology. It can provide us new mechanisms of action from controlled drug release to new super selective treatments in which only the damaged cells are repaired or destroyed. It can provide faster and more energy efficient computing, long life batteries. Regarding the food industry, it can also provide new methods of detection of pathogens and new methods of uh, preservation of food. It can provide efficient and faster mechanisms for purifying air and water. Nanotechnology can change our lives, improve our health, our safety, our comfort, and it can also be the key to reversing climate change and fighting pollution for a healthier and safer planet for everyone. INL has one vision, to be the worldwide hub for nanotechnology addressing society's grand challenges. We welcome you and hope you enjoy your visit here at INL. Всем добро пожаловать в INL. Benvenuti al INL. Bienvenidos al INL. Bienvenidos al INL. Welcome to the INL. The INL is welcome. Welcome to the INL. International Iberian Nanotechnology Laboratory. Welcome to the INL. Bienvenue to the INL. Welcome 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 to the INL. Bienvenue to the INL. Welcome 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 to the INL.